what you're thinking. Fuck, it's Marilyn Monroe. No, she's dead. And uh, I might die right on this stage tonight if this doesn't go wrong. All right, I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, I've been impersonating Marilyn Monroe for 20 years. If anyone here is from the Inland Revenue, that is seven years and four months. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I could die on this stage because um, I'm trying to get a new career because I'm getting old and you can't be a lookalike of someone that died young. That's, dying young is not funny. No wonder my jokes are going to go so bad tonight. Anyway, so... I may have to get a new career, and it doesn't go well for lookalikes when they try and do a new career. We had a Adele impersonator, and Adele decided that she was rich, she's going to go away, and she's going to make a new album. It's going to take four years. So our poor Adele lookalike had to get a day job. <laughs> and she got a day job in a call center. And it was terrible. She got fired on the first day. She turned up, and maybe it was her tactic. She'd call people, and she'd say, Hello? <laughs> It's me. I've been wondering if you've been in an accident recently. I personally would have kept her, but there you go. And then we had a poor Michael Jackson, as you heard from Macaulay Culkin earlier. People think he, people think he's a bit strange. So um, he got a job working for a delivery app. But the problem was he got fired after the first day. He would turn up, just eat it. <laughs> Didn't go well. I once worked in a condom factory, but I had to stop because my friends kept ribbing me about it. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I tell you what the w hardest thing is about looking like someone? Dating. Yeah, because everybody wants to date Marilyn Monroe. Well, men, not every. Well, maybe some girls want to date Marilyn Monroe too. I'm up for that. But um, but um, yeah. And then they realise I don't talk like that. I talk like this. <laughs> I'm from South London. <laughs> not South. Yeah. Woo! South Londoners. Woo! <laughs> North Londoners. Woo! Yeehaw! <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> not Londoners. Yeehaw! Okay, so, um, yeah, so dating's really, really hard because obviously I look like someone who's been dead for 50-something years. <laughs> so I'm not sure if a guy wants to date me or whether he's a necrophiliac. <laughs> I did get worried once when a guy turned up and instead of perfume, he bought me embalming fluid. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. But he'll say, the thing is with uh, guys, you, when you look like a dumb blonde, you think... Do you care that I'm intelligent? Because let me tell you, ladies, they don't. <laughs> they don't care if you've got a PhD, an MA, a BA, but what they will give you is a UTI. <laughs> Ouch. But yeah, also, as a woman, we wonder, don't we, when we're lying in bed with a guy, is he thinking about me? Or is he thinking about another woman? In my case, he probably is thinking about another woman. <laughs> but yeah, so I've worked out, believe it or not, I know what I look like, but I'm actually a Christian, and I've worked out that my dream man is Jesus. He is, he's my dream man, because if you think about it, go to Ikea on a Saturday, he's a trained carpenter. <laughs> he's, see, even you're thinking, now you're like, hmm. Run out of wine after a really big session with Macaulay Culkin. You just go, Jesus, go to the tap. Run, run out of red wine. And also, if you do anything wrong, you just go, Jesus, yesterday I cheated on you. He's like, don't worry, I forgive you, my child. <laughs> and he's the only man that tells you he loves you every day. And the best thing about Jesus, if you're ever with somebody else and you're having that fantasy that you're really with Jesus, sorry, my vicar's over there. Sorry, vicar. I'm, I'm actually not joking. My vicar's over there. <laughs> if you're ever dreaming of Jesus when you're with another man, that man loves it because you're going, Jesus Christ, oh God. <laughs> Never gets jealous. But the worst thing was is I, I actually did get dumped 
I get dumped a lot. And I got dumped by a guy who said to me, I can't date you anymore because everywhere we go, everyone keeps calling you Marilyn and wanting pictures. And I find it really intimidating. I said, that's a ridiculous reason to break up with me. He said, well, how would you feel if everywhere we went, everyone stopped me and was like, you're Buddy Holly. And I was like, well, I wouldn't dump you. I just wouldn't get on a plane with you. <laughs> See, clapping young death again, you weird people. Anyway, so I'm going to leave you, obviously, with a tribute to Marilyn, because obviously that's what I look like, and she's made me rich for the last 27 and a half years. And uh, about my awful dating. So here we go. You all know about Tinder. When Alexander Bell invented the phone, he must have squilled with delight. But little did he know that in the near future, we'd use it for swiping right. Text on WhatsApp from the guy I met on Tinder, asking shall we meet again. One was cute, another bought me dinner, but one was a total creep and got arrested for stalking me. Then there's a guy that turned up high, and I said we should just be friends. But I still go back on that side. Swipe left or swipe right, cause Tinder is my new best friend. Tim! 